So this is my grip master. I use it because I've learned that once you get going on dumbbell exercises and really anything like pull-ups that require a lot of grip, your grip is the limiting factor. So I want to get my grip nice and strong for when I build up on those exercises. Uh, what I do is see how it's got the uh, individual spring-loaded columns for the strong fingers, which is the index and the middle finger. I use two plates at a time. And I do 100 reps on each digit. So it'll be the middle two plates on the middle finger. I have a lot of problems with finger independence. Uh, as you can see, I have a very hard time doing only one finger at once, but getting a little better at that. Now on the weaker fingers, like the ring finger and the pinky, I do one plate. And believe me, I've gotten a lot better at those in the last week or so. I could barely do anything with my pinky about a week. Whoops. See, that's what I wanted to mention. Especially the weaker fingers, there's a tendency for it to buckle like, like that. And I do my best to keep a nice arch so I'm coming down with the pad of the finger in as straight of a line as possible, like that. And it's important to keep the hand straight in a good ergonomic position. And Grace is always also advising me not to uh, have any strain on the tendons here. All the strain should be on the muscles down here. And what I do for the thumb is I take the plastic pad off and I cover the individual spring-loaded plates with that, just to switch it around. So now you have the unified plate on one side. So I brace the pad with the fingers and then take, take it by the middle with my thumb and compress the entire plate. So that's all of the springs resisting against the thumb, which is a lot stronger. So I do 100 reps on each digit using variable resistance.